Hi, I'm Stephen Fergali and I'm a classroom teacher here at the Ivy Street School. I have a master's in education and I'm duly certified in both severe and moderate special ed as well as being a board certified brain injury specialist. Today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about how we use assistive technology in the classroom here at Ivy Street, specifically speaking about smart technologies, smart board and smart notebook software. Having a smart board in the classroom for a teacher here at Ivy Street is a total game changer. It completely changes the way I think about providing instruction to my students in the sense that it provides a much more kinesthetic and tactile approach to learning which they can't naturally capture out of a textbook or simply writing things down at their desk. It gets students out of their seats, it gets them moving around, and it engages them in learning which is the most important aspect to being a good student and learning information and has made me a much more well-rounded teacher in terms of differentiating instruction and finding ways for students to connect to information in ways that they find meaningful and motivating. Each morning the students will start their morning by coming in and completing some morning work. To help orient them as to what they need to be completing, we have a morning work checklist. The morning work checklist allows them to be a little bit more independent in their morning work and accomplish tasks without having to ask the teacher or their friend what they need to do. They can simply follow this chart, which also helps promote some executive functioning skills. And they can let me know if they finish their morning work by checking off what they've completed. Another aspect of morning meeting that we like to explore is the weather. We're going to go to weather.com. Advertisements. Huge distraction. Why are they there? We don't need them. Um, so in a moment I'm going to show you how I have reduced some of these distractions from our students who might be a little too distracted by what's happening on the side and not really focused on what it is they really need to be focused on, which is What's the weather like today? Do I need to wear a raincoat? Do I need to bring an umbrella? Um, looking at our weather today, apparently we do. I'm gonna go ahead and use the spotlight feature to reduce some of those distractions and help our students focus in on exactly what they need to focus on, which is what's the weather looking like for this weekend? Friday, kind of a bummer. Showers, partly cloudy, scattered tea storms. Monday, we have some showers again. So, Really preparing for the weather is an important aspect of getting ready for our day. So as you can see here, we have our smart document camera. And what this allows us to do is project images up onto our smart board. You can think of this as a really sophisticated overhead. So let's say we have a chapter that we're focusing on in biology. And I really want to highlight a specific image or portion of text in our textbooks I'm able to do so for the whole class to see. Um, from here we can zoom in on our animal cell, which is connected to our biology curriculum. And from here we can really analyze the difference between a plant cell and an animal cell. Now, if the text isn't enough, and if having this information visually on the board isn't enough, we can actually take this one step further with some of this new technology, which again changes how students are receiving this information. With newer technology, we're able to really explore how things look in a three-dimensional way using our smart board here in the classroom. It's pretty incredible seeing how students might learn through different forms of tactile and kinesthetic approaches. A lot of the students in this particular classroom are preparing for the MCAS and are working to achieve their high school diplomas. So in order to do that, they really need to understand some of the more academic mathematics and curriculum that you might see here. Again, having a smart board and technology takes the pencil and paper out of the student's hand and gets them moving around. It gets them thinking a little bit differently about how to apply what they know in different forms. So using the smart notebook clickers, we're able to get a better understanding of what the students are understanding through any given lesson. One of the areas that we like to assess the students in is reading comprehension, and the clickers are a great way to do that. 
It allows the students to confidently answer questions without feeling pressure by the rest of the class to do so. Students can answer questions via multiple choice, A, B, C, or D. They can answer true or false questions, um, yes or no. They can even text in a response. Each student has their own account. And what this allows us to do is track the progress of the students. Maybe it's to track the progress of the whole class. So using our teacher tools, we're able to track data on students' performance levels and how they actually did via each question, via each quiz, via the entire unit altogether. Um, it also tracks data on how long a student might take to respond to a specific question, which is fascinating in our field in regards to latency and how fast a student is processing information. All of this data can be exported to Excel, which makes for quick and easy grading for our educators here at Ivy Street. We use maps to orient the students to a lot of geography. Maybe it's national geography, maybe it's global geography. We're able to really help make connections between where current events are happening in the world and in relation to where we are in the world. And we can really explore the greater Boston area specifically Brookline, we, as you can see here, does a much more three-dimensional approach to looking at our community. So here at Ivy Street, we like to do a lot of community trips where the students can practice very functional skills on the community, like A, navigating from point A to point B. Maybe it's Faneuil Hall, maybe it's a scavenger hunt in Faneuil Hall where they need to find specific locations. Students will practice navigating the subway, using public transportation like the buses, which again connects to executive functioning and time management and again decision making. These are little things that might escape some of our students and it's nice having the opportunity to have this information formally instructed to them so that they can go and be more independent members of our community. This is an incredible learning tool for both instructors and students. It's a tool that changes how learning is done in a classroom and really promotes a lot of independence and executive functioning skills for our students. So instead of that black and white pencil format, they're able to receive information in color in three dimensional aspects. They're able to get up out of their seats, move around. It engages them in learning. They want to learn and that's the most important aspect of coming to school. If you don't want it, you're not gonna get it. They truly want it and they're excited to learn and to me that's what it's all about.